The next service I want to talk about is the AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store and the Secrets Store. Let's start with the AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store first. It is a service to centralize operational data from different AWS services and automate tasks across your AWS resources. That's the Systems Manager. And the Parameter Store is one of the features of the Systems Manager. It was intended to store any configuration data or passwords and secrets in a centralized place and then to manage those. And it's organized in hierarchies and obviously it's tightly integrated with the AWS KMS for encryption and also with IAM. Okay, that's the older service. And then there is a newer one, which is called the AWS Secret Store, which is only a managed service to protect secrets. It is encrypted via AWS KMS as well. And on top of what the parameter store can do, it can also rotate secrets safely without any need for code redeployments. It can share secrets with other accounts, but it is a paid service. So you're going to pay 40 cents per month per credentials at the moment and five cents per 10,000 API calls. It comes with a 30 day free trial, but I'm still going with the parameter store. Now there's a, a very big confusion about what is the parameter store and what is the secret store. Let me summarize this in one slide. Both have API access, okay? Both encrypt credentials via KMS, both have IAM access control tightly integrated, and both are a managed key value store service. And obviously they can both be used via CloudFormation and you can use both also in ECS and your uh, EC2 instances and so on. Now the parameter store can store only pre-generated passwords, whereas the secret store can generate passwords for you via CloudFormation, for example. In the parameter store, you have to update your passwords manually, whereas in the secret store, for some services like RDS, the secret store can automatically rotate passwords. Now the parameter store is usually free unless you're running very large applications. So if you have uh, up to 10,000 parameters, then it is entirely free at the moment. And the secret store costs you 40 cents per stored credentials. So it's really just a credential store and another 5 cents per 10,000 API calls. One feature that is unique to the secret store is also that you can share your secrets with other accounts securely. So if there's another AWS account, then you can share your secrets with those accounts as well. Now let's go into the lab and let's uh, modify our previous example of our Fargate cluster a little bit, because right now we have stored our password in an environment file for our container. That's not a really good practice. I want to get these credentials on the fly from the parameter store and store the password for our RDS database securely and encrypted in the parameter store. And when the container boots up, it is automatically fetching the right password and um, well, inserting or injecting it into the environment of the running container through the ECS cluster. In this lecture, I want to go ahead and remove the credentials that we have in our environment stored in our task definition and actually put it into the systems manager parameter store because in the parameter store, first of all, we have it centralized. We have one central location. Secondly, it is encrypted and we also have or can have different IAM permissions to access those parameters. So in case we want to give someone access to our ECS cluster to create uh, task definitions, they don't necessarily need access to their credentials. Uh, they just need to know where to find them. So the first thing would be to go to the systems manager, systems manager, and then you will find the dashboard and the systems manager is actually some sort of management tools, uh, framework or feature where you can do quite a bit of management for your AWS resources. And one of the features of the AWS systems manager is the parameter store. And you can find it here on the left side on the application manager parameter store. And the parameter store is really here to store both configuration data and secrets. Now let's go ahead and insert our 
database credentials, our password, into the parameter store. Create a parameter, enter a parameter, and I like to make this tiered. So in this case, I want to start with dev, for example, for all the dev parameters, and then db password, for example. In this case, it's going to be our credentials for the dev database. We're going with the standard offer and we go with a secure string and we are going to encrypt it with a KMS key and the value is going to be our master password for our database. So I'm going to paste this one here and I hit create parameter. All right, so the next thing is we have to somehow make a connection between our task definition and the parameter store. And the way we are doing this, we are going to update our task definition and we are going to say our environment variable has to come from the parameter store. So let's go into our Elastic Container Service dashboard into the task definitions and we are going into our task definition for our PHP container and we are going to create a revision of our latest task definition here. We go into the container and we scroll down to the environment variables. And here we can say either the DB password is a value or the DB password environment variable is a value from. And here you can enter an ARN to a parameter store value. So in this case, the ARN would be ARN, double point, AWS, double point, SSM for the systems manager. And then the region you're in, I am in the region EU central one, and then your AWS account ID. Where do you get the AWS account ID from? You get it from the console over here. So mine is 16195272102. And then a double point, and then parameter, and then the parameter name. So in this case, dev db password. So that's all there is. And then we hit update. Now, the next thing is somehow our task execution has to get access to the parameter store. And let's create this first here. So it's created. And you can see here our task execution IAM role is this role. And this role has to get access to the parameter store in order to fetch those credentials that we just stored during startup of the container. So let's go into this role. And here we have to attach some inline policy in order to get those credentials. So add an inline policy, choose a service, the systems manager service, and then go into read. And then here you have to get parameters. And then in the resource, you can specify a specific resource, either in your region or in any region. And we are going with dev dash and then a star for any development uh, parameters that you're going to store that start with dev. Add review policy, access to dev credentials, and create policy. Great. Now we have to update our service. So we go back to the Elastic Container Service. We go to our Fargate cluster. We go, we select our service, hit update and say we are going with the latest revision. We're going to force new deployment. Next, next, next. And view the service. Now let's see what happens. And it's provisioning. It is pending. And our service is running, our task is running. So we can go into the task, we can copy the public IP address and open it and it says connection successful. And in this case, it's not getting the credentials from our uh, environment variables directly as a value. It is getting the credentials from the parameter store. And this is how you securely store parameters using the uh, systems manager parameter store. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next lecture. Well, come back from the lab and now you have your RDS database connected to your ECS container via the password being in the parameter store and being fetched on container launch. So here's what we did. First, 
we added a new parameter to the systems manager parameter store and we call this devdb password. Then we changed the task definition, we created a new revision and we added the parameter as an ARN and we said value from and the ARN has this format. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot copy it anywhere. You have to type it in ARN double point AWS double point SSM double point your region double point your account ID double point parameter slash and then the parameter name in our case def db password. Then we gave the uh, task the ECS task execution role the permission to read the parameter and the permission that you need is the SSM get parameters. We did this via the IAM dashboard. And then basically we updated the service, which started a new task. So just be careful and some good to knows environment variables are only set into the environment during launch of a container. So if a container is already running and you're updating a parameter store parameter, then you need to restart the container basically start a new task or force a new deployment when you are updating parameters of a service. All right, I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next lecture.